Welcome to Food News Today. Are you wondering what's going to be big this year? How about the Mega M&M? Come spring, M&M's will debut the Mega Chocolate Candy, which will come in original and peanut flavors and packed with three times the chocolate of regular M&M's. Apparently, a small bag will go for a buck forty-nine, medium for three twenty-nine. According to Mars, focus groups have been asking for bigger candy. So here's what it is. What do you think of M&M's adding to their supersized platform? Smart move or overindulgent? Will you be lining up for the new candy? And for me, I have to wonder about the ratio between the chocolate on the inside and that hard candy shell. Is that going to stay the same or is it just about more chocolate? And don't forget the success or not of other products that have done things similar, like those gigantic Oreos. It's common knowledge some lucky people can eat anything, but gain nothing. Others are constantly struggling to keep their weight down. It's just the way it is. But why? New research from the UK claims a mutation of a gene called KSR2 may actually cause continued hunger pangs in patients who are obese, as well as slow down their metabolism. Researchers analyzed the genetic sequences of 2,101 children suffering from early onset obesity and compared these with the sequences of kids of a normal healthy weight. Results showed that children with the mutation in the KSR2 gene had an increased appetite, slower metabolism, lower heart rate, and severe insulin resistance compared with those who had a normal version of the gene. These conclusions now leave the door open for the development of drugs as a treatment. In this world of smartphones, it's almost impossible to sit at a restaurant without hearing at least one other person's phone conversation, as if we cared, or making a few calls of your own. Well, a restaurant owner in Israel has had enough and is now providing what may be the only incentive to put your phone away. Money. Abu Ghosh, a hummus joint outside Jerusalem, is offering a whopping, get this, 50% off your meal if you put your phone away and actually talk with the other people eating. Now, we applaud this great idea. It's about community. And according to an Associated Press report, the owner won $23 million from the Illinois State Lottery back in the 80s. So while this is not a shrewd financial plan for his business, he can not afford to subsidize it for a while and give diners something to think about and get back their community. That's all from me. Don't forget to check out supermarketguru.com. Send us a message on Facebook and Twitter. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for watching.